bright and early on a Sunday morning and here I am at the airport. No, I'm not flying today, but we do have Mike coming in in his light sport aircraft. He's the new owner of a beautiful YX, and it turns out he had the same problem I did when I changed my tires. No matter what I did, the tire appeared to have a nasty wobble. I later learned that the main cause of this was the Azusa wheel halves, oh! and I ordered new ones. But you can't just slap them together and throw them on the plane. In this video, we're going to help Mike with his while showing you how to prep them yourself. Azusa TriStar wheels are light and cost-effective options for Sonics and other experimental or ultralight airplanes, but it can take a little bit of elbow grease to get them right. Sonics aircraft even put out instructions on how to prep them for use, and that's what we'll be following with some extra tips to boot, and I've put links to everything below. Just like the sheet says, the wheel halves must mate together without a gap. If they don't, the rims will be out of phase with each other and produce the dreaded wobble. Look for flashing left behind from when the wheels were cast. Mike's wheels were pretty good, but mine were terrible. Remove any obvious flash with a file or sandpaper. It may be hard to see, but running a straight edge across the face of the rim will make any high spots obvious. Using a sharpie and then the straight edge will bring out the more subtle ones. Now even here the halves can fit tightly together, but still produce a wobble. So I like to put them together and measure the total height with a digital caliber. One side being taller than the other will certainly show as a wobble. For this I like to use a hand sander. A mouse in this case is it will lightly sand a wide area. Straight sandpaper will work, but it will take longer. Sand a bit and check measurements until you're happy. It may take quite a few times. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer the better. It's not necessary, but you can check for wobbles using a balance and drawing stand like this one. But if the wheel measurements are good, this shouldn't be a problem. Next, insert all three bolts into the wheel halves, if they can. Mics were good, but I couldn't get all three in on mine. If you feel the bolts dragging at all inside the holes, or them being inserted causes misalignment of the axle bore, the bolt holes need to be drilled out with the 21 64 inch bit. A drill press and some tapping fluid is best for this, and remember to clamp your work. Now on Mike's wheels I also found that the holes in the brake drum did not line up with the wheel halves, so they got drilled out too. Anything being offset here will cause a wobble. It's not in the instruction sheet, but now is a good time to check the bearing races. The Azusa wheels come with new bearings, and the race is already pressed in, but not correctly. Use your caliper to make sure the depth of the race is correct and even. You'll know the depth is correct when you place the bearing and washer in, and the washer is flush with the axle board. This helps protect the bearing from the elements. The best way to do this is with a seal driver and press, but a mallet will work too. Just be careful not to strike the wheel, and make small adjustments until it's right. Quick note on that, I'm loving these Bluetooth earmuffs. They provide great noise protection while letting me listen to my favorite podcast or music while filming, while not having to worry about the copyright police. And naturally, a link is in the description below. Now you can follow the instructions on assembling the wheel, tube, and tire. Be sure to also buy the correct length AN5 bolts and locking nuts for the wheels as other Sonics owners learned early on. Install the bolts and make sure the nuts are on the outside of each wheel. Check the axle bore alignment again before and after tightening. If there's a noticeable step, it's wrong, try again. When it's right, tighten the bolts completely. You can now air up the tires, making sure the red dot in the tire is lined up with the valve stem. I like to add a bit of air with the valve core removed to help seat the bead and tube first. Then reinsert the Schrader valve and air up the target. Sonics Aircraft and other owners recommend 50 PSI. Just note the statement on the rim and make your own decision. There we are. Now it's time to grease up those new bearings. And there's many ways to do it, but I like to just throw in some gloves, get a glob of grease, and work it through each roller. Time to throw it on the plane, and if you did it right, and if not, go back through the steps in this video. Blue skies, and thanks for watching. <laughs>